Welcome back, everybody. So, I am starting a new series of low voltage wiring. To be more specific, wiring up a security panel. This is a Honeywell Vista 20P security system panel. So, yeah, I'm just going to be making a series of videos, how to tutorials of wiring up this security panel from scratch. So, to start off, Let's talk about the wire that I'm going to be using pretty much for the, the entire project. So this, yeah, this is 18 gauge four conductor wire. As you can see, yeah, it has four different wires, obviously, and they're all different colors. Uh, just some note that I want to throw out to you guys is the colors on the wire mean absolutely nothing. It's all the same exact wire, no matter what color it is. The colors are just for organizational purposes. So, anyhow, yeah, don't let that stuff confuse you. So, in this particular episode, I'm going to be talking about how to bring in AC power and hook up the battery to this Honeywell Vista 20P security system. So, to start off, you need to take a piece of 18 gauge wire and then you need a pair of wire strippers and I would say you might need to strip back I don't know like yay much you know from where my pointer finger is to where my thumb is just to give you some wiggle room with the wires Usually when you want to just get the shielding off, but not strip the wires inside too. Usually I just do little squeezes at a time and just go around in a full circle. Likewise. So for this case, uh, I'm just going to be using two out of the four wires. In this case, I'm going to be using the black and the red wire. And these other two wires, we can basically just forget about. Probably even just cut those off because they mean absolutely nothing. So then, now we want to strip off a little bit of these wires and expose some of the copper. But at the same time, not too much. Because otherwise, I could potentially, um, I could potentially cause shorts. So, yeah, just take your wire stripper and, well, get it close to around the 18 gauge section there, as close as you can get it according, you know, depending on what strippers you got. Yeah, squeeze it and then just pull it, and there you go. And then repeat the same step for the other one. So after you get them both stripped, then you'll just want to take your finger and your thumb and just twist it like this just to get the copper braiding uh, bunched up together and just pointed straight out the best you can as opposed to just going like all over the place like braided wire tends to do if it's just going all over the place that could also potentially cause shorts too so you just want it all bunched up together twisted and pointed mostly straight out the best you can when, when you're going to put these wires uh, into a terminal. The next thing that you'll need is the transformer that your security panel should have come with. This is what it looks like. Yep, this is the main transformer for the panel. It converts the wall voltage like 120 volts and steps it down to it looks like 16.5 volts so hence why it's also such a big transformer so now we're going to take the two wires that we just stripped and they're going to go in these two terminals on the transformer so first things first just make sure the terminal screws are loose so you can get the wire in there smoothly and it does not matter which wire goes in what terminal. 
it's AC, so polarity does not matter. So, since my red's already on my left hand here, I'm just going to put it on the left terminal. It might actually be easier if you put in the wire on the left side of the screw, because when you tighten it down, you're turning it right, and the wire might want to twist right on you. So, use that to your advantage to get to stay in there. And yep, just get down tight, and there you go. Now just repeat the same exact step for the other one. And bingo, that's how you get those two wires into the two terminals on the transformer. So now you're going to take the other end of that wire, after you cut it to the desired length and whatnot, and repeat the exact same stripping steps. Then these two are going to go into the panel's circuit board. So referencing the schematic and which is on the inside of the uh, panel enclosures door, uh, terminals 1 and 2, which is right here, 1 and 2, are for incoming AC voltage. And once again, since it is AC, the polarity does not matter. It does not matter what order you put the wires in the terminals. So, anyhow, I'm just going to put black in terminal number one. I mean, don't get, once again, don't get the colors confused. It's not like this is a positive-negative situation. That would be more like for a DC voltage, like a battery. But order does not matter at all right here. And I'll just put the second wire in number two, just like likewise. If I can, there we go. And yeah, of course, just make sure the wires don't touch each other and create a short. And also, to connect the battery, it's stupid easy, guys. It's really just a matter of color coding. And coming out of the panel circuit board are these two wires right here, which are also color coded. So, use your imagination. Red goes into the red terminal, and the black wire goes onto the black terminal on the battery. The, the right way. There we go. And there you go. <laughs> you just connected the battery of a security system. So now that the wiring for the incoming power is completed, I'm now going to plug it into the wall. And yep, you just heard those relay clicking. Yep, that's how you know the system is indeed energized. And just for future reference as well, whenever you want to power down the system completely, first you need to disconnect the battery and then take it off the wall, unplug it. I mean, yeah, I don't think you're necessarily supposed to unplug it first and then take off the battery. I don't know. I don't. That might not really be good for it. But I have no idea. But I'm just not willing to test it. So anyway, anyhow, this is um, this is how you bring incoming power into a Honeywell Vista 20P security panel and how to hook up the battery. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. So hope you all enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.